Welcome to Vinny's. Vinny's talk, man. Breaking news. Arrest has been made into this Idaho 4 case. Um, go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you guys haven't already. Breaking news, man. Arrest has been made in the killing of the Idaho 4 a case. Man, we've been covering this for almost seven weeks, a month and a half. And finally, we'll be able to see maybe some justice. It says that this is a suspect in custody. Let's read the report. An arrest has been made in the brutal murders of four University of Idaho students. Like I said, rest in peace, Maddie, um, Ethan, Zana, um, Kaylee. Um, <clears throat> law enforcement sources and an attorney for one of the victims' families told NBC News on Friday two law enforcement sources identified the person of interest as a 28-year-old Brian Christopher Kohlenberger, I don't know how to pronounce the dude's name, but whatever, dude. Uh, Shannon Gray, the family attorney for Kaylee Gonzalez, said the arrest was made in Pennsylvania. A law enforcement sold, told CBS News he was taken into custody near Scranton. Scranton. Um, so we have a lot of different reports coming out. <clears throat> Police are planning to um a news conference about 1 p.m., 4 p.m. Eastern Time to give an update on the investigation. Uh, we all know that four victims were found at around noon, Sunday the 13th, after a 911 call. Police reported an unconscious person. Officials had earlier described the murder weapon as a large fixed blade knife. <clears throat> Mogan and Gonzalez were both 21-year-old seniors at the University of Idaho. They were best friends, and two had been down Two had been at a downtown bar called the Corner Club. Now, this says they were at the Corner Club the night and stopped at the food truck. We want to show you guys the suspect. Get his picture up there. Yeah, he looks uh, looks kind of scary, right? Looks kind of like a psychopath. But anyways, I want to say that uh, rest in peace to Kaylee, Maddie, uh, Zana, and Ethan. Even though they still have a suspect in custody, um, we want a conviction. So this is just the start of the beginning of this investigation, guys. So we have um, quite a long time before this is far from over. And you guys know that I've been covering this for the last seven weeks, close to a month and a half. And it seems like it's as, uh, we're getting closer to the end, but it's only the beginning because uh, it's just an arrest. And I want to see what the police are going to say in this uh, interview. And this guy's picture is a little creepy, guys. A little creepy, right? This dude looks like a psychopath. And could he be acting on... Um, by himself? Could there be other people involved? Even though this is just a one suspect thing. You know, once again, these are just my opinions and my thoughts. Welcome to Vinny's. Vinny's talk, right? Uh, could he just be acting in a loan job? Um, is there other suspects that will be uh, arrested? This dude seems like he may have done this by himself, but we don't know. Um, so we're going to be doing more updated videos and go looking further into this uh, case. But I just wanted to break you guys with breaking news. A suspect has been uh, arrested, and um, it looks like they will bring him to Moscow. They're working. The police are trying to work that out. Uh, there's going to be a press conference about one one p.m. Like I said, so reports this dude the, the very sketchy man. And like I said before, very sketchy um, things. The, the 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 questions I still have about how come the two surviving roommates didn't have um, you know other. Like, they didn't hear nothing. They couldn't hear nothing. I, I just find that very odd till this day. And then uh, the whole, like, hoodie guy and Jack D and all that. You know, give those guys um, some apologies if people were trying to point fingers. Even though we've seen the hoodie guy as kind of like a suspect or whatever. Allegedly, everything you should say that is allegedly. Until you are faced with the facts. And you get the facts from the police, correct? Um... But now that this is the case and we have a suspect in custody, it's just a suspect. They, it looks like 
that he might face a charge. We 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 are to see what the police are gonna say. Hopefully, this is our dude, right? This is the perp. This is what we're looking for. Um, so we'll see. You know what I mean? We'll see. True crime. Vinny's talk. You got the live sign there. Thanks to my sis for getting that for Christmas. Welcome to Vinny's talk. True crime talk. We got Wonder Woman in the back. We got the cold weather outside. Hopefully the weather will be get um soon. We'll get better and we'll get like nicer weather. But it's still winter time, so we're probably not gonna get like like nicer weather. Even though it was like fifty the other day, it's gonna be like thirty or forty for the next like week. But anyways, guys, the breaking news. Suspect in custody. Dude looks like a straight I don't know. I don't know, man. He looks crazy in his picture. I mean, you guys can see the picture for himself. Look the picture right there. Um you know, Kaylee and Maddie didn't deserve this. Neither did e uh, Ethan and Zana. We're wondering how this perp got into the house. Still speculation on, on that. And I'm sure we're going to get some more story and uh, revealing answers from the Moscow Police Department. But until then, guys, we want to thank you guys. We'll be more updates. We'll bring you guys more content, more videos. Thank you, guys. Like and subscribe to the video. Hit that notification bell. Until the next time, guys. Peace. Vinny Talk, baby. Vinny's Talk.